Rough Town signee Fantana has revealed she will never feature her label mate Wendy Shea on a song. Contrary to public perception, Fantana, who told Giovanni on Showbiz 360 here on TV3 that her latest track titled Rich Girls Anthem was not written by her label uh, boss Bullet, she then disclosed that men sent her nude photos via social media. When a rich girl talk, broke girl shush, money talks, bullshit walks, no girl can keep a man a rich girl wants, so you a hide your face, girl hide your face, like me you don't get money, you a hide your face, girl hide your face, who's that? And everything all, every, how is your rough record today? How is it? How is everything? Oh, it's when was the last time you had a chat with Wendy Shea? When was the last time? <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me, please. I want to know. Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember. But you're on the same record label. Yeah, we're on but the same But you're not label. friends. No. Okay, that's okay. We hear you're under a sub record label mm -hmm. under the Rough Town. You have your own yeah, manager. Yeah, my own management. That. Yeah. That's, that's okay. How are things there? You yeah, prefer this way? Yeah, I do. I'm actually glad it's happening this way. Okay. So you write your own song or you still have inputs from Bullets and all that? Um. So now, you know, I have my own management. So okay. they are now, like my last two songs that came out, mm -hmm. my manager, my personal manager, Turas, mm -hmm. yeah, Michael, Turas. yeah. yeah Mike. He's ri He wrote New African Lady. He wrote Rich Girl Anthem. Oh. Yeah, but you know, he's with me every day. So he knows my style, yeah. my vibe, what yeah. I like and everything. Yeah. yeah. So you're loving it this way? Yeah. Why Why though? I mean, you, the last time we spoke was because you had so much respect for Bullet as an individual and what his role is mm -hmm. in building the career you want to see for yourself. Yeah. And why, why has that changed? No, I still respect Bullet, you know. He's still my big brother and everything, okay. but I feel like, you know, as time goes on, yeah. you know, yeah. Things change sure, sure. and yeah. yeah. Where do you see yourself or rate yourself as a music talent currently in the music business? Um, if I look, let's on a scale from say <laughs> one, top 10, where do you put yourself? Top 10. <laughs> um, I would put, you know, I still have a lot of work to do, um, especially when it comes to performances, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm still dealing with like stage fright and stuff because oh. I'm not really used to, you know, like performing in front of a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know. And it's not something like I was doing and mm -hmm. was practicing, you know. I think I just kind of like came out and then I just got on big platforms. Sure. So I'm making all my mistakes yeah. on bigger platforms. Yeah, but I'm right. learning fast, That's so right. yeah. You've been doing solo for what, at least your last two, three songs. Yeah. So yeah, any collabs in the pipeline? Yeah. An album in the pipeline? Yeah. Names, you want to drop names for us? Great people. Okay, <laughs> what? Would you ever feature Wendy Shea on a song? No. You would never ever feature Wendy Shea on a song, why?